A Canadian Minister of Parliament, an MP, confirms Allied UAP reverse engineering programs in a letter to Defence Minister. So in other words, effectively, he's confirming the existence of extraterrestrials and UFOs reverse engineered. He says, I can finally say for the first time that I have absolute and direct confirmation that this urgent and groundbreaking letter by Mr. Larry Maguire, MP, that's Minister of Parliament, is indeed exactly what it appears to be. And this is by Jeremy Corbell and George Knapp via Weaponized. They say, investigative journalist Jeremy Corbell and George Knapp obtained and are releasing a new document into public record. It pertains to an allied coordination of UFO UAP reverse engineering programs. And the background? On the heels of blockbuster testimony from UAP whistleblower David Grush, a letter has surfaced which alleges the UFO cover-up is a multinational effort. In other words, a lot of nations know about the, these uh, extraterrestrials and UAPs, UFOs. Now, in Canada, a veteran member of Parliament sent a conf confidential letter to that nation's defence minister. The elected official provides very specific details about an ongoing program with the Five Eyes Alliance, that's USA, Canada, Australia, UK, and New Zealand, to analyze and reverse engineer exotic materials obtained from crashes of UFOs. Some of the materials in question date back to the early 1950s according to MP Larry Maguire. Maguire urges the Canadian government to get out in front of the UAP story before further revelations destroy public trust and embarrass the governments of the Five Eyes nations. In this episode, Jeremy and uh, George review the contents of the explosive letter, its implications and the names of the, specif the specific multinational programs which have allegedly attempted to reverse engineer exotic wreckage collected at crash sites. And there's a copy of the document there, signed by Larry Maguire and Brandon, Brandon Suris, copied to Melanie Jolly and various others, saying, I can finally say for the first time that I have absolute and direct confirmation that this urgent groundbreaking letter by Mr. Larry Maguire MP is indeed exactly what it appears to be. Mr. McGuire makes his message abundantly clear by naming a key UAP technology host program and clarifies that it can be found within the Five Eyes Intelligence Alliance. The implications of this are both profound and sobering. On one hand, the fact that we have had durational exploitation and reverse engineer programs focused on UFO UAP hardware, coupled on the other hand with the fact that the fundamental derivation truth derivative truth associated with this revelation has been held back from the public by multinational allied body. This moment is a tremendous confirmation and affirmation of what the public has suspected for generations regarding the truth about UFOs. There are layers to this UFO UAP puzzle, but I am encouraged by how bold and forthright this message by Mr. McGuire is alerting the global public. By all accounts, Mr. McGuire has uncovered the truth about his country's participation in hands-on UAP exploitation programs and has been working behind the scenes to encourage discovery, in other words, disclosure. He has acted as a champion uh, for greater transparency on the UAP subject, and we should applaud him for ringing the bell and raising the alarm in the name of proper oversight and transparency. The circumstance and reasoning behind Mr. McGuire generating this unclassified letter can only be answered by the man himself and I suspect he will be characteristically forthcoming. I don't know the man but I would like to shake his hand. The full and outright admission that Defence Research and Development Canada DRDC is in possession of recovered UAP material is a giant leap forward towards informing the global public on the reality of UAP presence on planet Earth. Whatever it might represent to humanity, which remains the open question, no matter where UFOs are from, it is now openly admitted by our Department of Defense and allied nations that there are durational UAP reverse engineering and exploitation programs. It's time to acknowledge the UAP presence. And this is uh, from Jeremy 
Kenyon Lockyer Corbell. Note, it's important to mention that ensuring sources can speak freely and anonymously to journalists and reporters in a key protection provided by SHIELD law. These protections of reporters' privileges are established by the First Amendment and enforced by the Supreme Court of the United States. In a democratic and free society, SHIELD law is a countermeasure against the influence of power to deny transparency. And this is by Jeremy Corbell and George Knapp on Weaponized. And we know that for decades, uh, the former Defense Minister of Canada, Paul Hillier, has been going around telling of these uh, UAPs, UFOs, and uh, uh, reverse engineering of U UFOs, and also the fact that there are various types of extraterrestrials on Earth, and that uh, some of them are, they look just like us, that if we were to pass them on the sidewalk, we wouldn't even know that they were extraterrestrial. Anyway, this is on Bended Reality. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.